This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the stereochemistry in carbohydrates. All simple sugars are chiral molecules as they contain at least one chiral carbon atom. Here we have the structures of the two enantiomers of the monosaccharide glucose. On the left we have D-glucose and on the right we have L-glucose. The D and L stereoisomers refer to the configuration of the chiral carbon atom that's furthest away from the aldehyde or ketone group. Naturally occurring sugars are D isomers. The D and L isomers are determined on the basis of the chiral carbon atom and how its orientation compares to glyceraldehyde. So here we have the two enantiomers of glyceraldehyde. We have D glyceraldehyde on the left and L glyceraldehyde on the right. In aqueous solutions, glucose forms a ring structure. Due to the restricted rotation around the carbon atoms, two isomers are formed, alpha-glucose and beta-glucose. On the left, we have alpha-glucose. In alpha-glucose, the OH group on carbon number one is below the plane of the ring. On the right, we have beta-glucose. In beta-glucose, the OH group on carbon number one is above the plane of the ring. Next we look at the two isomers of fructose. On the left we have alpha fructose, on the right we have beta fructose. In alpha fructose the OH group on carbon number 2 is below the plane of the ring. In beta fructose the OH group on carbon number 2 is above the plane of the ring. 